All right, YouTube, we're here for our second league of the night. We went three and two, which is sad, but we're going to see if we can if we can get up there a little bit. Get something like a 4-1. I had a 5-0 this morning. I had a 5-0 yesterday, too, so those would be great to get those. Yeah, I'm going to put some time into a deck to prep for GP. I'm going to the end of the year for the PTQ. So do you think it's worth continuing my risk shadow? Yes, I think it's a, I think it's a very good deck. You have to put time into it, though. It's difficult to play. So depressed by the bannings, I lurk here to watch modern. Nice. Seven proud. I'm actually um, going to... I think I'm going to settle on this list for this PTQ this weekend. And I think the rest of the week I'm going to stream Death Shadow and Legacy. Um, this hand is just like not good enough. There's no clock. There's no hand disruption. This hand is gas. Opponent Mulligan? Nice. I'll just put this on top. We're going to, we're going to fetch, we're going to, uh, Thoughtsies anyways. But they get to see that we kept it on top. So we get to make him nervous. I'm going to be punished if we're playing something like blue-white control and I fetch that away, but if we're playing something like some linear deck or something like that, we're going to want to, you know, get our thoughts he's on. Why do competitive leagues instead of friendly leagues? Because the payout's just higher, Raban, and I uh, I know that I know how to play this deck. Um, so what they do? They put a card on the bottom. I'm just going to take the Sylvan Scrying. I guess I could have... No, that was stupid. Well, I guess I'm going to take the Karn anyways with the next one. I'll likely just hold up Stubborn Denial with my next uh, Urza's Power Plant Chromatic Sphere because I would like to make sure that I hit a whatever it is, a Sylvan Scrying. So I can just Thought Seize this Karn at a later time. I have not buy, bought forces yet, but I do plan to, John. I do like the deck a lot. It is kind of it is right up my alley. Okay, so we're gonna be able to check out our opponent's top card here. Uh, prowess is pretty bad. Good flash and speed cards. You want to play a two? Yes, play on your main phase is very awkward. So yeah, you got a chromatic star coming, buddy. All right, so we got no. So at this point, I'm just gonna take payoffs. We need something to turn this clock up. I need like a fetch land into another Thoughtseize, fetch land into a battle rage. That's what we're looking for. A dismember here would be nice. That's a, that's a good way to turn the clock up. Hers is mine. And nothing. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we can cast this. I guess I actually can cast it, because, like, if our opponent gets Tron, we're not going to be able to stop Ulamog. So I, this is poor sequencing. Yeah, that's a good draw. So now we can stop Ulamog. So let's get a Steam Vents. Better lucky than good. So now we're really worried about, like, Worm Coil Engine at this point. <coughs> That's a good draw. Draws the nuts. Yes. So they already played a land. So we're just, we're, the only thing we're countering are things that kill us. And this doesn't kill us because they already played a land.
Yeah, Soul Scar Mage is. I like Soul Scar Mage. I'm a fan of that card. Show me what you got, man. Wow, they just no, they put a Chromatic Star. Okay. I think my opponent is likely very dead. Dude, there's nothing more that I like than beating Tron. We're going to beat Tron this game. There we go. Okay, so now against Tron, we want the rejections, the disdainful strokes. The Abraid and the Kolagon's Command. And, like, maybe the Battle Rage. My board, again, is not, like, necessarily super tight. I did just throw this together. I know I want to cut these six. And I think I'm just going to cut a Snapcaster Mage, and that's seven for seven. Go just like this. <laughs> So how's the chat's day going? Do you guys have a good day at work? Good day at school? Um, still at work? Jeez. 7 o'clock. Bricks and Shadow is much better than Myra Pyromancer against all of the top decks except for humans. I can't imagine Myra Pyromancer being good against blue-white control. Oh, it is 4 p.m. where you're out west there, King Lumage? Lamog? Lamog, I'm so bad. You guys are out west. I'm on the east coast. This hand's, this hand's pretty solid against Tron. We're going to be serum visioning on one. I should go check on my food, see how that's doing also. It does? Okay. I would just think that like blue-white control would go over the top of it. Okay, so I think we want both of the. We don't want this. We do want the Street Wraith because it's going to let us play this next turn. I'm going to check on my oven. I'll be right back. Okay. What do we got? We got only. I'm going to fetch before I cycle. I think it's too narrow. It's a decent, like, it's a very good hate card, but it's just a very narrow hate card. Not as much, especially if they resolve a Blood Moon, and then it's not impossible since by the early on PZ demand answers, so they run out. Okay. All right. I, yeah, I'm not sure how that goes. I think this is by far the best fair deck in the format, though. So we're going to go get Blood Crypt. What do they get with this? They got an expedition map. So I could just hit the map. So I, I think we're going to do this because the stubborn denial is not turned on. Oh, my pizza's set. My, my oven's heated up. So give me one. I'm just going to resolve this. Take my turn and pass. They surgical my street raid. Like, deal. This is like, that is an awful card to sideboard it against Death Shadow. You want to win, you want to move, like if this card was anything else, my opponent, but now my opponent just mulliganed. The Street Rays have done what they need to do. My Death Shadow is in play. So like, up your game against Death Shadow and don't sideboard that in.
Okay. So my opponent drew a Tron piece. What a luck sack. That Thrag Tusk is going to be tough to beat. And they're going to definitely play the Thrag Tusk because they know that Ugin's not going to resolve, which is also kind of a beating. A thought sees there would have been the nut. Basically the same about Infernal Reckoning. It's great. It's great, but narrow. It takes it. Yep. Those are the kind of cards that you take, like, for example, my store, Gamer Craze, they do, like, this invitational thing. And they, um, <clears throat> they do this invitational thing. And so there's the mines. So they, let's hope they don't play this. They play Thrag Tusk. Okay. Turn off auto yields. So what do they have? They have Field of Ruin and One Unknown. So I think I'm just going to snap Serum Visions and attack. We have everything covered here besides another Thrag Tusk. And we just have to, like, we just have to put the pedal to the metal here. Ooh, I cannot snap Serum Visions and have that up. Okay. Well, that changes things. So, yeah, this is a mistake. This is a mistake on my part. We are still going to attack. If my opponent puts us to one, then, and they don't, then we're going to win this race. That was certainly a mess up for my part, though. Parents Ponzo's again. Yeah. Modern can be ruthless. We're definitely going to snap Seer Visions on our turn, though. We have to start, like, trying to find, like, another threat, a little more traction. This, this Urza's factory is going to be really annoying. Because he can just, they, my opponent can just sit on this. We have to find a battle rage now, pretty much. That's we're drawing well tonight for sure. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to need to shock myself anyways. So we are just going to go like this. There's honestly a chance now that we found a second a second shadow that we just don't even use the snapcaster mage. I'm just very nervous about getting ulamogged. I, I just think that this Snapcaster Mage, Snap Serum Visioning, is going to be... Okay, so they're playing around Battle Rage, which is nice. So my opponent is cognizant of Battle Rage, which is good. Yeah, I think we just go Snapcaster Serum Visions. Try to find the Rage. Just try to end this game. Just draw another surgical. I hope my opponent drew another surgical. I hope that so much. I have to make sure to not tap my second blue mana. God, they did. That is so great. My opponent mulligan to five. And if they rip in Ulabog, they're still going to beat me, which I find impressive. Don't do this. Like, this is not how you do this. For all of everybody that is... Like, I don't know what kind of level everybody's in the chat is. I was at this level where I thought bringing in surgical extraction against everything was very good. Like, just don't do it. My opponent's down two cards. They're probably, they're probably just ripped an Ulamog, though. They're just going to go, like, land Ulamog, and I'm still just... And they just can't win. So there's Field. Dude, just show me the Ulamog, please. No Ulamog. Oh, shoot. I should have... I guess I can still do this now before combat damage. <laughs> so 
So I'm, go I'm going to just do this now. I should have done this before combat, but it is worth it to find Battle Rage here. I can also find an Abrade or a K Command to win the game. All right, well, we found another counter spell, which is fine. I guess I should have attacked. There was no reason to not attack with my Snapcaster Mage. We have to be smart with our counter spells. They've got what, two? They have 10 mana exactly. So something like Sylvan Scrying. What does that do? Because they, let's see, how much mana did they have? They had seven, so they had 10 mana. So it's not like this is getting them to Ulamog, right? They had 10 before, so this effectively doesn't do anything. If that could get them to 10 mana, I would step it. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, like Sanctum doesn't do anything, right? Oh, there we go. I love beating Tron. I love beating Tron so much. I'm going to restart Moto here. Just give me a second, everybody. I love beating Tron so much. Feels good. Yeah, it does. Like, that's another thing. Like, I spent the first five years or whatever of my Magic Modern career just losing to Tron. And now, like... Well, I don't destroy Tron. I have a at least fair matchup against Tron. Okay, if we're going to play Mill, then you can... I'll, I'll defer. I will defer on Mill, as I don't know too, too much about that archetype. We're going to... We're going to call balls and strikes. I am no millologist. I'm pretty excited tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to stream Legacy. Like I'm pretty much, I think this is what the 75 that I'm going to take to the PTQ this weekend. And besides that, I'm just going to play um, uh, we're going to play Legacy at least tomorrow. And I don't think I'm going to play FNM. I might see some of my friends. It's been a pretty kick-ass stream. I appreciate you all for being in here and hanging out. To say the least, 182 viewers is more than I more than I usually average. So it is nice to have you all in here. I appreciate it. Yeah, so I actually started streaming. Um, I started streaming because for my job, I want to give like safety trainings. So I actually, and I want to be able to write papers, policy. So I actually started streaming and blogging about two years ago. I didn't have time to keep blogging, but I think it's fine. Water Emblem. I might try a version with Faithless Looting because I have Ley Lines. In the future. So this is Ben this is basically Ben Friedman's deck. I I don't like this deck. Because without Serum Visions, I think this deck is much too glass cannony. Like, I think that, I don't know what your personal metagame is like, you know, but I easily could see you, like, cutting two Faithless Lootings or two Thought Scours, not, not both, two and two, cutting, like, 
Uh, Col uh, I'm not a big fan of Colgan's command in the main deck unless you know what you're going to be playing against and you can be very centered. And, you know, you're, you're targeting. I would cut something like that and I would play at least three Serum Visions. Three Serum Visions gives you so much more consistency while really not taking away from your turn two anglers that much. How you doing, Farby? Yeah, we've made it. Now, Jeff Hoogling gave me a big host. So, we're doing it. Ship this. Keep this. This in the bottom. I am going to cycle one Street Wraith. Hopefully, I get something to do with my mana. Okay, we did. So, we're going to hold this Street Wraith for next turn. If you're in the uh, Twitch chat, you just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. I appreciate that. We don't need either of these. Um, Isn't Fatal Push just way better than Bolt? It, yes and no. J, um, J -A -C -O J yes and no. Um, so I don't play any music because, like, I don't, I think that, playing music while you're streaming if it's not copyright music. If it's copyrighted music, then you're literally, like, you're just stealing. That's, you know, oh, sorry, I hit my mic. Um, and I don't want to do that. Uh, we don't want either of these. Um, we're going to hold this street race again. Um, and um, what was I going to say? Okay, so this is where we just take Search for his canton, we hope. Well, they have a garbage hand. Um, I just don't have any good music that I use, you know? I think it's rude as well. I, I did play... Um, I did play music that was non-copyright for a little while, but I don't know, I just didn't really like it. The fact that we drew two removal spells is, is not great. The nice part about Bolt... Oh, uh, they're going to negate this. That's aggressive. But I guess, like, they're, you know, they can't take it home. I guess I just go like this and then pass. Um, are you dedicated MTG player or do you also play physical? I play both. Yep. I don't play as much paper as I used to because, like, it's, it's unfortunately, it's just not very efficient. Like, I can play a league in two hours if I'm playing slow. For me to play five matches is probably, like, an eight-hour to six-hour commitment. Okay, so they're doing a click, which is these. Looting is card disadvantage, which sometimes hurts. Visions does while helping you play a shorter versus a longer game. Well, yes, that's you're you're right about that. I do pre-releases sometimes. The guy that I play on a team with loves the pre-releases, so I always try to go when he goes. But also, like I like to go to the SCGs, I like to go to PTQs, and I'm actually flying to a Grand Prix this year, the first Grand Prix that I've flown to. And Magic's expensive, so I do try to kind of, like, save my boat a little bit. I actually just recently, probably going to sell a couple of my Magic cards. I've got some that are, I've got, I have Magic cards that are just, like, I just don't need. They're probably going to click, they should click themselves. Yeah, they should definitely click themselves. This is, this is a, like, a very, this is a very poor play from our opponent. Um, I guess I'm just going to go like this. No, I should have left the mana up because they could they could cycle me into a stub. Uh, Serum Visions is much better than Oct. Yeah. Once you understand how to play with Serum Visions with Street Wraith and Bobble, it's very, very good. So I hope they don't hit a land. They definitely they should have clicked oh, they hit a land. But they definitely should it was definitely right for them to click themselves. They plus. Hopefully we hit a Snapcaster Mage. Then they have another J, so it's like, bleh. 
We're not going to play too long against this Resolve Jace. Like, probably not any longer. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, Teddy, how you doing? Do you take time more sense to talk about it on stream? I'm looking for more people who are well-versed to converse with with sets that are already getting ready to release. So sometimes, um, so oftentimes I stream like the modern challenges on the weekends, and I definitely do some things like that to like to get the spare time because there's downtime. It's not like you can just play a league. God, I'm so hungry. Can't wait for this pizza to get done. Uh, I'm just gonna cut the street race. I guess Street Wraith is, if I'm going to cut a card, like, I guess I don't want to lose two, like, Street Wraith is a dead draw. I always think to cut Street Wraith, but I wonder if it's actually right to cut Bobble. Like, for every time that I want to cut a Street Wraith, should I just cut Bobble? I probably should do that. Wow, I think I just had a big brain moment. Ugh. I have two three mana cards. I have two very good pieces of disruption. My opponent boarded 61 cards. They broke it. I think... So this matchup is so bad that I think I have to get lucky, so I'm going to keep it. <sighs> yeah, so I, I agree. It's just what Magnus was boarding in, so I'm just trying it. I think that if you, you can gear your deck to support it, though, you, like, you just have to be like, I take this card. I take this card, you know? But you just, like, you're always going to take rest in peace anyways, right? Watery Graves. That turns on our cantrips. Not Traverse Shadow. So I think the Traverse Shadow decks that are four colors with white are pretty unplayable. I love those decks. I think you have to have counter spells. Yeah, I've played with Claim the Fame before. All right, come on. Come on. Mm, come on. Ugh. No dice. Should take this cheap answer. I guess I could have left that because of the Kira. Probably should have. That was a mistake. Yeah, I should have left it in there because I have the Kira. Not everyone can have two. Two Thassies. Yeah, we're in trouble. I mean, if we hit a fetch land here, we play two three threes. Like, if we just go run around our lands... Like, we're actually not even in that bad of shape. Are you talking about a, for a Death Shadow deck, McCoy Boy? I think I think that if... I think Grixis Shadow is better. Um, I do think that if you have a very targeted metagame where your metagame is very interactive, I do think that Jun Shadow is better. Well, we're, like, not in trouble, but we do have to start. Like, the onus is on us to win the game. Right? How do I win against Mardu? Um, play Gurmag Angler. It's like, that's the best I got. So I probably have to get a Swamp. Yeah, I definitely, I think that you want to, I think there is um, merit to playing a Jun Shadow deck if your metagame is very, um, if you're going into a metagame that is like incredibly uninteractive, like very volatile, I think that the Jun Shadow decks are better against those decks than Grixis Shadow is. But Grixis Shadow is probably better against the field. Yeah, I do. Oh God, this is just over. We'll see if we draw a fetch land. 
Okay, so we go get Watery Grave, and we play two Shadows. And we pass. I'm going to go get my pizza. Oh, we don't have a board. Oh, we're drawing lands. Yeah, we're we're definitely we're definitely in trouble. Honestly, might just flash my Snapcaster Mage in here. Like, while this mana empties. Just so that I have, like, the one chance of being able to get both of these Planeswalkers off the field. And this is like a supreme verdict, okay. Yeah. Like we, we walked into this, but I just wanted to get both the planeswalkers off the field. So like I do walk right into a wrath. I guess I could have waited. Yeah, that was stupid. My idea was okay, but I should have just done it on the end step. So that was stupid. That would be nice. Yeah. So I had like the right idea. I just was like, oh man, I can now have Stubborn Denial up. Which like Stubborn Denial would have helped me if they had Path to Exile, but it, it just it just kills me if they have Supreme Verdict. So it's like it's like very much a risk that like I probably I, I mean it's a risk I probably had to you, you can make an argument that I probably had to take that risk just at the end step, not right there. You like that, Ben? Yeah. Let me put the deco stuff here. Oh, we already have the match. All right. So by the time this match is done, my pizza should be cool. So I'm going to eat my pizza quickly after this match. Hopefully we can win four in a row here. Won 14 out of 15 earlier today, and then have not done anything since. Just been in the beats. Oh, auto's lagging. I will keep this hand. This hand is very explosive. I'm going to cycle a Street Wraith on turn one here to hopefully find something to do. Do I want another land? I guess I might as well fetch. Because I don't want another land. It's, it's pretty marginal. Leaves me a little bit in trouble against Burn, but we might be able to out overpower Burn with this hand. Yeah, we likely will be able to overpower Burn. Blackleaf Cliffs. Okay, so we could be playing against the Graveyard deck. The Vengevine deck. Okay, we are. So if I dismember this, one, two, three, four, five. I would need one more thing in order to be able to play my Death Shadows, my Shadow and my Angler. One, two, three, four, five. I would need like if I dismember this and I hit a Bobbler or a Street Wraith, I can play Gurmag Angler as well. I could save this dismember to also like 
maybe deal with a deal with a grave issue. Okay, so punished. <clears throat> I had six outs. Maybe six outs isn't enough. We do have four ley lines. Oh, Kleblock, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. Oh, we talked we talked earlier. Okay. So they have a bridge. Oh, I wish I could counter that. Blood gas fine. Okay, blood gas comes back. Grave crawler, okay. Oh, geez. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. So Twitch needs to fix their mobile app so people can sub on mobile. Okay, so how do I win? How do I win? They're at 17. How do I peel Battle Rage and win? So, if I take 6, go to 4, shock myself to 2, Battle Rage to 20, that still doesn't do it. Now I can go Battle Rage to two. We gotta, we gotta take this, but I think I don't think I have an out even with a Battle Rage because I can only do, yeah. I believe it's. I believe I uploaded it. Did I upload it to Stream Decker? Uh, nope, I forgot to. Let me upload that stream decker. I zoned out. Modern. To the desktop. Next. Upload new. All right, we should be we should, the list should be good now. Okay, so let me go back here. Okay, so cards that are not very good. Stubborn denial is not great. Um, Snapcaster Mage is likely not great. I don't think I don't really think the removal is that great. I want another Battle Rage for sure. I probably want my engineered explosives. Like, the problem is if I'm going to mulligan aggressively, I guess I'm going to mulligan to shadow plus TBR or ley line. And if I have shadow plus TBR, this engineered explosive is going to be good. I guess we can cut two thought. This card's not super great against this deck, I think. I think the removal's decent. Yeah. I think this is how Magnus sideboarded. He sideboarded his ley lines and then in like two other things. Three subscribers today. It's been a great day. It's been a great day. I appreciate y'all for checking me out. I would like to play first. Okay, chipping it. 
Uh, we have a battle rage, but no shadow. We have a death shadow. I think I gotta keep this one. We'll put that on top because it means we can play Shadow on two. So they have a ley line. Yeah. Okay, so our angler doesn't do anything. <clears throat> I mean, I think playing a Death Shadow on turn two is like as good as I can get. But I don't think his hand's worth going to four. We have both a Death Shadow, a way to play it. We're struggling so far tonight. We're getting beat up. We are getting beat up. Hopefully we hit like a Faithless Looting here or something. Okay, so we just take this Stitcher Supplier. And we play our boy on two and hope that works out. Yeah, I agree. Okay, Grave Crawler. So don't know anything about their hand. Let's see what our opponent's drawn. They are drawing. What does anyone think? Torment Scroll for Relic. They're drawing a Ballista. Okay. Ballista is annoying. I mean, all their cards are annoying at this point. I have three Battle Rages I'm drawing to. It's not one of them. Okay. Now I can no longer attack, which is kind of sad. Oh, they're going to attack me. So this is four. Block. I think I just... The problem is if I attack here... I should have thought of this before I went to attack. If I attack here, my opponent just says, cool then I die. So I think we're going to try to hold out one more turn. And that's just like the right play from our opponent. The right play from our opponent is to just take the damage because that makes them lethal zombies on the crackback. I should have Inquisitioned. How do I die? You gonna bolt me? Well, maybe he shoots me, but that's like the wrong play to do, right? Well, he, like, he can just go block, and then he can just take the damage and kill me on the crackback. Or he can just make a bunch of zombies. This is something I, I did not see this coming here. So if I attack with everything, he needs to block with all of his creatures die. So we're going to go for that. I did not see this line here. Yeah, but he's got to block, right? It, like, the right play for my opponent to do is to block and not do anything. And if they do that and I attack, I lose, while I have chances to not lose on my crackback. Like, if I just wait and take more damage and keep my life total reasonable, then we're good. He just doesn't block. 
Wow. It didn't block. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, so they have their own ley lines. So how do we I think I want so let's let's try this. Let's get let's get weird. Let's just let's pretend we're gonna hit ley line. Okay? And I'm gonna go with my discard spell is actually decent in like a super dumb degenerate game. So let's try this. I don't know if I want three Battle Rages. Like, Battle Rage is so good. I probably want it. Yeah, we're going to go with it. The problem, what he might be worried about is that he can't really play around Battle Rage if he's running on empty and then kill me the next turn, which could be legit. You know, like, maybe he just has stone nothing. He's like, if I play around Battle Rage, then, like, I'm going to lose to it next turn. So... Like the problem, like if he blocks, it only gets worse for him. In my opinion. No, I should have the joy to this. It is nice. It is nice to play a mid range deck where you can just beat up on this degenerate crap. Okay, so do I keep hands like this? Like, this right here is Battle Rage Shadow. There's no guarantee I can play my Shadow very quickly, though. And I don't have red mana. So I think I'm supposed to mulligan. But, like, on six, is this hand keepable? Like, I'm going to keep this hand. Interesting in Suicide Death Shadow matchup to exile bridges. Maybe. We have to worry about is playing our Death Shadow so that it gets hanger back walkered. Loot, scoot, and booty. Okay, so we have Avenge Vine. That's pretty nice. So I'm going to hold this for next turn. Hopefully we hit like an enabler. This is an enabler. This has got to be their best enabler. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, we have four. We just haven't hit. We just didn't hit them. Wow, okay, here we go. So let's go get a Blood Crypt. I'm going to cycle this now, because if we hit another Death Shadow here, it's just nuts. If we hit another Death Shadow, we like to kill him next turn. I draw well. I'm good at drawing. Okay, save a bridge. Now they don't block the dead. They didn't block. Which I somewhat get. Like, their deck doesn't block, right? Like, if, if you're blocking, like, they just know they're getting battle rage. They just scoop it up. All right. I'm going to go eat a piece of pizza really quick. I'll be right back here. I'll put the deck list up. I'm going to go eat a piece of pizza. And then be back for some more games. Be right back.
<clears throat> Battle Rage Kira Go. All right. Turn my lights on. <clears throat> Wouldn't spell Skype mean much more attention and protecting our threats? <clears throat> but for real, start a streaming fundraiser to go. <laughs> uh, I would like to go to Vegas. All right, we're going to keep this. This is a really good opening hand because it's got just something for everything. Teddy, stop giving people bad advice. I actually don't really have any idea how to cohesively build a sideboard with ley lines in them. I liked my plan that I had um, before ley lines. I liked how EE worked now. Okay, so we're playing it the same deck. So we just take this enabler. And then we're gonna literally going to point this dismember at anything to get this shadow into play. I don't have a good cohesive plan. I don't exactly know what I should be doing. Yet, with the lay, because the ley line changes the dynamic. Because you can just throw together a sideboard, or you can, um, you know, have a plan. Well, I also like EE against control decks. I like EE against control decks. Oh, they hit a bridge. What a tilt. Okay, so we're just going pedal to the metal here. Yes, and then there are times when, like, you know, you need EE to, to do well in magnets, in my opinion. Like, I like EE a lot against Affinity. I like it a lot against Infect. Best cyborg plan out of there is whatever it is. Invisible Stalker. What are they doing? The Cathartic Reunion? I, I like the presence of EE before this sideboard. I'm not sure how I like it afterwards. That's so freaking annoying. I'm going to attack first. <clears throat> All right, we're going to pass. I would like him to do me some more damage. If I draw a fetch land, I should be in good shape because I can push a blocker with the TBR on the stack. So this hanger back walkers out of their hand. I also don't know if I should have EE in my sideboard or not. Okay, so they're playing that for zero, which makes a token. So 
Which, like, this Vengevine attacking us is, is kind of actually pretty good for the home team. I probably should have stubbed that looting. I was like, not even. Okay, so I probably have to push a couple blockers here. This is 16, yeah, right? We just go like this. And then we go like this. <clears throat> God, both teams played hard. Both teams played hard. Battle range. You put the level on that thing, dude. Yeah, you make a zombie, bud. They activated activated our trap card. All right, let's begin sideboarding. Nice <laughs> turn three deck nerd. All right. Can you believe Berserk is modern legal? Yeah, dude. It doesn't even kill the creature. Again, I do not really know how to sideboard. I feel like my Inquisition is pretty garbage besides dealing myself damage. So they're gonna have they're gonna how did we sideboard last time? I forgot. God damn it. Cause they're gonna have like this gross anemic draw. I'm gonna have this gross anemic draw. Like should we just sideboard for like this pitiful grind fest? Let's try it. I don't know if this is right to do or not. But, like, maybe it's right to do assuming your opponent's going to have Leyline of the Void. Say hello to my 9-9. Nine -nine. Shadow boy. Shady boy. I also want to... K-Command does seem horrible. Yeah. I don't know why I brought that. I'd rather have a 2-1 beater. I guess if we're going to slow down, I could like... No, maybe I should have boarded. Maybe like the Braid's not great. So it's like... They keep their hand. I don't think so, but like, again, we've seen. Am I supposed to keep hands like this? I think I can get better hands on six with a ley line. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Uh, we don't want this. I am born on St. Patrick's Day. All right, well, that's like half the plan. So let's just start taking some anemic beaters. All right, um... If you just take the bushwhackers, it's the most damage. 
Like, looting doesn't really do anything, right? Especially after you start getting discarded, the looting gets even worse because you start going down more and more cards. The looting doesn't... I would have taken the looting, but it doesn't do anything, right? Like, he's going to go down a card here. I'm going to Thought Seize him again. He's going to go down another card. Yes, I did. I don't have a Death Shadow. And it might be right to take a Vengevine at some point. So I wanted to slow down. Check out their hand, Teddy. What did they do? What did Foothills is new? So he ditched Bridge. Bridge, back, leave Chris. There's an eliminate. Okay. So this is gone too. So I don't know any cards in their hand, actually. So I could just bolt one of these and thought sees afterwards, which I kind of like. Save the cantrip for next turn. This is going to give me some information. Can't. God damn it. <clears throat> so they just let it happen. So that means these two cards have to be good. Take the one he can cast. <laughs> oh, we got a comedian. What? How lucky. Oh, man. If he drew a hangerback walker. Okay, he drew a ballista. It's kind of annoying. All right, we got our. We're, we're ready. We find a death shadow. He's ready to go. Uh oh, dude, we're about to get Venge back. They're about to beat us. We're gonna lose. I die a little bit. Sorry, I don't mean to kill people. I guess we leave up Snap Bolt. Oh, this game could get hard. <clears throat> At least, like, if they do just slam this Vengevine, we get to, like, trade with this this sweet hanger back walker and then bolt this thing. I sort of feel like I just have to do this. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> Uh, the problem is, if I just take this and I try to do this, I think we're just going to, like, bite the bullet here. Bolt this neonate. There's going to be a death shadow on top. We all know it. And then, like, attempt to trade with this. Dude, I'm just calling it what it is. It's a hanger back walker, dude. What do we got? Now they got a walking ballista. Lex Lock was on it. 
having fun here. What do you got? You gonna give me? Give a land coming? No, sweet. <laughs> For a six wood ley line? I remember. I remember. Yep, yeah, you got it. We're we're F six in here. Just attack me, please. They probably should attack, because then it's a lethal. It's lethal the next turn. I guess it's lethal anyways. Come on, baby. Find me a death shadow, please. No. Is it worth keeping this? No, because I have to go fetch an island. We're going to go get a Death Shadow. Death Shadow on top. One time. Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. Man, we are digging. No turn off auto yields. <clears throat> no land. Oh, there's a land. Oh, there's a land. God, this is a Death Shadow. It's a Fatal Push. We can keep playing Magic. Kind of. I do remember that hand. You know the sad thing is? Is I have to push this Hanger Back Walker to survive. That is just one of the worst feelings of all time. I have to push this hanger back walker to still be drawing dead. Oh sweet, the hanger back walker doesn't even get any points. I'm still drawing dead. Damn bobble. Damn bobble. Alright, so how are we supposed to board here? We probably should have a couple stubborn denials in our deck if they if lightning axe is real news. All right, well, I figured it out. I'm just saying, if we beat this deck without Leyline and then lose to it with Leyline two games in a row, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna definitely gonna put sadness on the stack. Bubbles out, denials in. You got your AC die leak. No, they're computer glasses. They're just keep my eyes good. All right, Lemulgan. We mulligan again. We well, we talked about this because they have their own ley lines. Which might be wrong to do. I don't know. I don't. I haven't played this matchup a lot. Uh, I'm not keeping turn two shadow unless I have late, unless I have battle rage to go with it. When I think like leyline is that impactful, you yeah, just don't do it. Then. All right, absolute heater, absolute heater, literally the best hand we've seen. Oh, did I just F60 my... Oh, yeah, I did. Because I'm not going to have any lands. I'm not. I don't think it's good enough. Oh, baby. Look out, dude, because here comes the pain train. I don't remember... Were those seven cards, like, Shadow plus, like... Battle Rage? I don't know. I don't know. Well, then maybe I should have kept it. 
Maybe I should have kept it. We're going to win this, though. So I need an eight. Okay. Oh, baby. Let's hope they don't, whatever it is, lightning axe or shadow. And before you get to the nine life, they play shadow and it gets pushed. Don't say such mean things. And it will be up on YouTube tonight. I think I'm just going to attack with this Death Shadow and then just Battle Rage it. I'm probably just not going to stop attacking with this Death Shadow. They still only have one land. That's wild. Deal. So let's actually think. <clears throat> so... Like, we probably can just win the game here. Problem is, they have, like, land Bushwhacker, we're dead. Whatever. God, I am so good at this game. Perfect mulligan decisions. Perfect mulligan decisions, that's all I'm saying. We play fast and loose in this stream. If you haven't learned that, if you haven't you know, learned that from being in here, you're, you're going to learn quick. We are fast and loose here, baby. Early face! I didn't even need a land. Oh, we're going to get the floor one and I'm going to get 20 tickets. Yes! All right, I'm going to put the deck up here. I'm going to get another piece of pizza. We are fast and loose. You better not forget it. <laughs> All right. We might put it back in. We get these ley lines are like as good as you know we want them, then looting definitely plays better with ley line. All right, here we go, baby. For the 4 1. Santa Claus is coming to town. Peter. Oh, all right. Welcome to the Gender Dome.
All right, we're going to take this Liliana. I, I have people that I respect say this is a good matchup. I tend to not think this matchup is very good. Show me your bab. All right. I got a bob. You got a bob. We all got bobs together. I can play a death shadow. And that is pretty sweet. I get to use all my mana and play a death shadow. And have Snapcaster Mage. We're just going to like super pray that our opponent doesn't didn't rip a Liliana. The Kira should be excellent here. Well, it's probably not good to play this thing when it could get bolted. Fast and loose. Ooh, baby, we're going fishing. We're getting nasty with Gurmasty. Get rid of this Inquisition. <clears throat> A guy can go elf himself. All right. I hope he gets elfed. Sure, dude. All right. We got it covered. <clears throat> okay. So hang on. Hang on. I think we're cleared for takeoff here. Probably shouldn't have done this. I messed up my life totals. Wow. That's wild. I thought my opponent was at 10 for some reason, but I'm at 10. Oh, shoot. I should have battle raised. I clicked through it. I clicked through it. No. I went over to look here. It's all right. All right. Was Battle Rage enough? Battle Rage wasn't exactly enough, was it? Was it even enough? Five, seven. No, it wasn't even enough. It's feel nice to trade Bolt for the whole thing of Bloodbraid Elf. What's the plan, Stan? Get out of my face. <clears throat> All right. I think about a sideboard. So I want this guy. I want this. I want this. This is it. We don't want the battle ball, battle boy. I like trimming on Wraith. 
I kind of like turning on Wraith a lot because their deck's much more explosive than it used to be. I like my discard spells, so I don't want to get bobbed. I like Stubborn Denial because Liliana matters that much. And, like, they're, so, they're much more clunky, so they play into Stub a lot more. I just want to cut another street race. I I don't know. I mean, they might be like it, it wouldn't be unreasonable for them to. <clears throat> like we could just hedge and shave an angler, but there's no sense to shave an angler if we're going to bring in a tasker. I think we're on board like this. I think this is what we're going to do, and we can always reevaluate after the next game. Oh, dude, Teddy's Teddy's heart is warm somewhere. I did just win a game on a mold of three with no lands with a late line. Heater. Absolute heater. Oh, my opponent Mulligan? But I just want more threats. Okay, so this guy's got Leyline. So we know we need to do some different sideboarding for the next game. Which we are equipped to do. We did another land. So we're going to hold our Street Wraith in case we draw Serum Visions. We get watery grave. So we're gonna take that tarmogoyf. Take the big old tarmogoyf. The big old dig the big old big 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 old tarmogoyf. Wow, that's not bad at all. So let's play this land. Let's start here. So they drew Liliana. I would like to hold. No, I don't even want to hold stuff if they drew Liliana. Okay, so we're just going to take these two cards. I guess this is actually, this is stupid because we have the Kira, so there's no need, like, taking the removal is just loose. I should have thought about that. Taking the removal is just, like, loose. I think I'm going to do one more league after this, Teddy. I probably did not have to fire off that second discard spell because Fatal Push doesn't target Kira unless it has a revolt. They will, yeah. Ooh. Excuse me, dudes. All right, let's cycle this. I think I'm just going to pay full retail here. There's nothing that they can cast for two mana that's worth stubbing. So, so like now I would be weary about holding up removal. All right, but we're just gonna we're just gonna jam this Kira. It's what we're here to do. We're gonna hope our opponent doesn't hit Liliana. I guess we are getting down low in life total. I didn't realize that. It's alright. We're going to hit a Death Shadow here in a second. We're going to be good. Too aggressive with our life total. Got too aggressive. Was zoning out. Got too aggressive. My opponent's going to top deck of Lightning Bolt just to punish me. I deserve that. We're going to Thought Scour ourselves. We didn't mill over anything any good. <coughs> Dude, this Snapcaster Mage is coming in hot.
Look at my stubborn denial, eh? Bloodbraid Elf. All right, well, we're just going to keep attacking. We have a bolt to deal with the Bloodbraid Elf. If they Bloodbraid Elf into a discard spell, this is going to suck. Because the discard spell resolves before the Elf. Whoa. Reject. Terminate doesn't do anything, which is nice. So we'll bolt this, and we just keep the race on. Stubborn Niles, not great. Might do something, but... Uh, what instance do I probably removal spells? Let's do this now. Let's see what they're drawing. They're drawing Liliana the Veil, which is not great for us. I think just I think most gen lists run four bolts. Yeah, they do. Uh, why is this guy doing this? He's just doing this to like. Ugh. By like getting spammed, which is annoying. Okay, that's Gower's D's. The bot will not be denied. I'll just turn off on my settings. So we're going to sack the Snapcaster. Okay, so they just have lands. Death Shadow. Thought sees is not Death Shadow. All right. I think I'm just gonna attack them one more time to make Bolt lethal, and then I'll go at this Kira, this Liliana next turn. God. Jace Cardbot has sent you. No, I do not want to. I gotta go. Hang on one second. That's so annoying. Uh, what is this? I don't even know how to do this. Account settings. Buddies, clans, chats. Trade requests allow only from buddies. <clears throat> I could have milled the lily with a thought scour. Yeah, that would have been a good thing to do. Yeah, I made a mistake there. I made a mistake. Yeah, so we both end up with nothing. Then I crack this. I just got flustered with what was going on. All right. I'm going to attack the Liliana now. I'm actually going to play this land so that if I... Oh, I, only, I don't have any more street rates. I only read one in, so I might as well just hold this. If I had street rates, I would play this land. Oh, they're, they're casting a spell. Do we know who J-Spot is? Oh, I'm actually winning this race. Super winning this race. <clears throat> Death Shadow should seal it up. Besides Lightning Bolt, because they can't kill it. Yeah, I definitely should have milled that Liliana. That would have been a big big brain move. Don't kill me, dude. Don't kill me.
Well, he's, he's looking to cast a spell. So if he's casting a spell, all right, we got it. We got it.